Supersport Park at Centurion is bursting at the seams for the second Standard Bank International Pro 20 game. South Africa one up after an electrifying evening at Wanderers in Johannesburg. Not expectantly, the Indian flag flies. The IPL is uh, less than a month away. We'll see scenes like that. South Africa the have made four changes, rotational squad members. Coming in, Yusuf Abdullah for debut and rule of Van der Johan Lowe gets his second game. And up the order, you see the name of Justin Antong. The men out, Wayne Parnell, Dale Stain, who has a little groin injury. Van Jaasveld, who uh, didn't really trouble the scorers too much with the bat. And uh, hasn't quite made his way yet in South African colours as he has done for the Lions. Robin Peterson gets an opportunity up the order as we heard earlier. There's the Australian side, three changes. Ben Lachlan comes in. Nathan Bracken, arguably one of the best performers with the ball in this form of the game. And young Callum Ferguson, he gets an opportunity in the middle order at the expense of Mike Hussey. So far in advance of the, of the game. Herschel Gibbs, well there you go, strike rate of 131. That's what makes him a match winner. And so Bracken, the ball the first ball to Robin Peterson. Starts with a slower one, and Peterson finds the gap away to get South Africa scoring off the mark. Scampered single. That's good running. The drop and run to end the first over. Three for none. Oh, beautiful stroke. There's four men away to the offside trying to save runs, and he threaded the needle with precise timing. Push and go, he'll have to hurry, it hits, oh and it could be overthrows, it might go for four more, oh it has, that's unlucky, they're referring for the run out, oh that's Gibbs giving himself a bit of room, going over the inner ring, it comes down like a wedge, and they just get back for two, in that centurion, oh big one, huge, out the ground over the chalets that is a massive strike by Gibbs oh he's bowled him beautiful change of pace from Bracken that is so skillful from the Australian left armor Africa 22 for one well this is just why Nathan Bracken is uh, rated as one of the best in the world if not the at this particular format of the game. Asian too good for South Africa. 22 for one. Maybe De Villiers is the new man, and that record is a strange one from a player who is so talented and so free scoring. Oh, what a catch! Full length, wide of the off stump, and he latched it. He really did strike that A.B. de Villiers, but it's gone straight to Cameron White. Who's A.B. in the time that he was at the crease. And uh, it wasn't a great deal of timing in that either. It went pretty firmly, but pretty low on the bat. Stunned a couple into the ground. So that's good. A little bit of trouble here. 24 for two. Hit firmly down the ground over the top. Is this one going to go all the way? Yes, it is. It lasts a boundary for South Africa. Much needed by Peterson and the home side. Perfectly. Oh, he's got that. Really got it. Really got it. That's why they want Peterson at the top of the order. He matches in Australia of late. Played with great skill. That'll take some catching. If you're somewhere near the sight screen. 54 for two from eight over. South Africa with much to do. Peterson on strike. Quite a clever stroke. Suddenly found his feet against lesser pace. Oh, lovely crisp strike. Oh, Robbie Peterson. Suddenly from nothing. Ball him. He's given himself room. Looking to open up the offside. And Robin Peterson has succumbed to James Hopes. But he went too far outside leg stump. That was a good delivery. A Yorker pitch middle and hit middle. So Robin Peterson is gone for 34. South Africa 71 for three. Short as well. And one was picked up. That's a good shot from Dumini. Anything on the legs is going to fetch.
it's gone for four. Five. Down the wicket, has he got all of this? No, he hasn't, has he? Yes, he has. It's gone for six. He's mishit that for six over mid off. He's tried the dinky sweep with one leg up in the circle. He might have got bat on it, but it's crashed into his stumps, JP Dumini. Shot was on, full toss. Try to flick it over. Fine leg that's up in the circle. Oh, it gets his first wicket, so he'll be delighted. JP Dumini will be disappointed because it's an opportunity missed. Struggled a bit tonight, JP Dimini. He's gone for 23. South Africa, 96 for four. He gets as much of the striker as is possible. Time for a change in voice. Robin Jackman and Daryl Cullen. And Bracken back into the attack. Down the ground, is it far enough? Oh, is it ever? Is it ever? Base of the side screen. He's been threatening to get one or two in. Really necessary, Bracken. Six more for him though. Flat as you like. Back with a square. Bracken's ear from the umpire. Here he goes again. That's gone to where third man would be, but it's gone for four. So this is turning into a great over for South Africa. 17 so far. There he goes again. That's an orthodox shot. Stood still and smashed it through extra cover. Go from ball one. Here we go. That's gone over cover. He did it so well. It's gone over point. It's the second fastest 50 for his country. Yes! Joe's giving him out. I don't know. It looked, it looked pretty obvious, I guess. Fern de Berber wasn't looking up, so he goes for 48. Didn't put it in his area, allowed Fern de to have a good swing. But it's been an entertaining innings, just what South Africa needed. He's a full hearted cricketer. He's delivered tonight. Fern de Berber goes for 48, South Africa 133 for 5. He's got that, but it's so... Oh, no, it has gone over the fielder's head for six. He hit that very hard indeed. That is well bowled. Full, he missed, though, stopping the ball. He spelled and the innings. All the way, is it? Yes, it is. What a way to finish, but is it enough? 156. Is it going to be enough? 50 dot balls in that innings. Daryl, 50. South Africa were asked to bat when Australia won the toss and they posted 156, which uh, there's a fair amount of debate whether that's good enough here. Yeah, there's been some good intelligent bowling by the Australians to restrict the South Africans to some degree. Yusuf Abdullah playing his first game, Johan Lowe is second. The other seamer, and only one other seamer, LB Morkel, is probably one of the more experienced men in this form of the game. But it certainly is going to be a test for what is uh, largely an untried South African attack. In the air! Oh! Through the dive and away for four. Worked away through mid-wicket. Coming back for the second. That's good running. Really good running. It didn't look as if there should be two there. Pretty much his four on the reel. Will he do it here? It's his second. And he's driven down the ground. Just the one. Mid off and mid on. Right on the edge of the ring. Big one. Has he got it all the way? Yes, he has. In the slot, he just hits through the line, David Warner. And clears the fence for the first time in this innings. 20 players. He comes to one. Oh, it's through for four. Or is it going to go all the way? It's a teasing chase. Yes, it still gets there. Starts with a slow delivery, but it was a half volley. Back square, and it's through again. Another teaser. 
And wonderful fairing. There could be trouble here. Oh, it's good running by Clark. He swung all around it, and Morkel gets the breakthrough. South Africa so desperately need. Warner goes for 20. Through the leg side field, so he hit right across it. Hit the base of the stumps. You can't do better than that. So David Warner, he's gone for 20. Australia, 37 for 1. David Warner gone, and they're all buzzy up on the edge of their seats again. Go, you little ripper! What about that? It's the big fish too. Ricky Ponting has to go. Abdullah is your man. Get what one to get. Ricky Ponting, the captain of Australia, pushing at a length ball outside off stump. He's out, he says. Yes, indeed. And you're dead right, sir. Even from where you sit. Australia, 38 for two. It's passed. And now being looked at by the selectors as they search for the right formula for the world 2020 as a bit of classy fielding too you get the lot don't you oh class got lucky with one really lucky it's comfortable three i don't know how he knows that's the right bat yet you haven't found the middle of it down there here's van der Merwe again Terrific stroke that is. Nothing in the back lift at all. Fundamelva. Oh. Clark will want a couple. Clark will get a couple. In between the overs, the music pounds out. It's going to be thrilling. Here's Boita. Oh, Got yeah. him! Swinging across it, beautifully flighted. Michael Clark goes for 27, Australia 63 for 3, that's quality from the South African captain. Five overs going quite nicely and then Michael Clark feeling has got to hit one out the park. Tried to give it horns, couldn't. Clark gone for 27, Australia 63 for 3. New man is Callum Ferguson. Scampered single, surely trouble. Could be gone. He could be gone. First ball. Jerling has sent it upstairs. It's superb fielding to get the ball to Borta, and Borta takes it in front of the stumps and then breaks them. Gone. Really was awesome fielding. The decision will come up right now, and it will come up, and there'll be a roar. Huge roar. A run out without facing a ball. Terrible stuff. 63 for four. That's just to see what he could do. Up in the air. It's beautifully placed. It's going all the way. No, just short. But he hits it so sweetly over extra cover. Butcher again. Oh, he's got something on this. Very fine down the offside. Abdullah's coming around as fast as he can, but he can't get there. Goes for four. Much needed boundary for Australia because of the away he goes over extra cover. That's a beautiful stroke. A little bit more air given by Johan Boerter and inside out stroke played equally effectively by Cameron. Full toss out the ground. Yes, that's what Australia needed. Peterson misses the target. Big one up in the air, is it going all the way? Oh yes! Way into the crowd. That had a lot of height on it too. Straight back over the bowler's head, skimming away for four. This is the over Australia needed. Hussey's providing and up comes the Australian 100. The pump. This one's high in the air. This should be taken and is. Gibbs as cool as you like underneath it. Gets Rilla van Merwe his first wicket at this level. And what a big wicket it is. Hussey gone for 27. And Super Sport Park has gone noisily berserk. Boundaries in a row and he's going for another one here. It's a good length. Gets too much under it. 
and Gibbs makes absolutely no mistake. Celebrations all round for South Africa. David Hussey gone for 27 off 18. 101 for five. Oh, now to take some catching. Safe hands. They belong to JP Dominey. White had to be at looking at going over the top. Didn't hit well enough. Werter wins the battle. Good catch by Dumini. White goes for 23 Australia. 106 now for six. James Hopes. I wonder if that's a uh, no ball. It has to be a no ball. And it is a no ball. The ball cannot be delivered without pitching above waist height. 45 from 17. Good stop. All you've got to do is save boundaries, you win the game. All right, 16 and over. Well, there's a great stop. And a crucial stop as well. It's more, it's the South African captain. Fabulous stroke. But as so often in this game, it doesn't necessarily reward you. No, that's brilliant fielding. Wonderful. Dominic, quick to his left side. The low full toss. It, it, it's a Yorker, but if you err, you err to the low full toss rather than the half volley. It's, it's a much easier field to make work when... Rules at the same time. Batsmen line you up. I don't think anybody will catch it. Not unless they're dressed in civvies. Uh, he won't manage it. That ought to be caught. Oh, it is! <laughs> Albie's a boy, isn't he? Almost as if he added a bit of theatre to it for us. Into it all right. Change uh, down of pace there from behind line. Now watch Albie more go. He's not quite there, then he is. It is a terrific catch. They're, they're much the hardest when they go over your shoulder, but up high. There are a couple of no balls. Oh, through his fingers! JP Dominey out of long on, who's just taken a good catch down there. Full. It'll be out caught at mid-off. It gets a rapturous response from everybody here at Supersport Park, who know full well that their team have won tonight. Teams fiddling with their sides tonight, looking to find out the right formula for the World 2020 that takes place in England in the English summer. All things that have stood out this evening is the standard of the bowling, the variety, the intelligence, and the execution. That's the end game. It may have a slightly anticlimactic feel because, in the end, it was quite comfortable for South Africa. But there are 20,000 very, very thrilled people here tonight at Centurion wonderful cricket ground given a wonderful performance by the home team South Africa have clinched the series 2-0 second Standard Bank International won by 17 runs Van der Merwe was brilliant with the bat is 48 of 30 balls the skipper was brilliant with the ball two for 16 on four overs that's what clinched it for South Africa South Africa winning by 17 runs and the series 2-0